Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you were gonna put the 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 phone in his hands. Well, he kind of like he kind of like snatched the phone, didn't he? He's in the chair tied up. Man. He's he's eager. Well, yeah, his, his hands are like like this, right? Like, well, I assume I assumed that Sh uh, Weldon had brought over the phone and was yeah, like, "Look, I can't hours, I so. can't fix your fucking penis. I don't want to do that." <laughs> yep, sorry. So I figured right. the guy, because you said like he takes the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, so I imagine yeah. what you do is you hold the phone in front of him, and he just sort of like as his hands tied out, he's like, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> "Is he doing that with his mouth, or is that the phone?" No, that's. Yeah, <laughs> your dick is doing it because it's doing everything else so far. Uh, yeah, just give it a character portrait already and put it next door. <laughs> uh, please, no one do that. <laughs> uh, we haven't had a lot of we haven't a lot, had a lot of or any art done of Cyberpunk so far. I feel like this episode has a lot of good. No one wants visuals. To touch that, man. <laughs> visuals. Yeah, I feel like no one wants to do a fucking fan art of this. All right, so. Uh... <laughs> Previously on Cyberpunk, mangled penis porn with BDSM porn in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Off to a right. great start. I thought I thought that would be like a nice little backdrop, but then you guys kicked it up a notch, so whatever. Uh, so he puts it, he unlocks the phone for you. What are you guys doing with it? Well, no, didn't we say he's got to call off his boys? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't say that. Like, all right, you gotta you gotta tell him everything's cool. You're fine. And One time, that, give me that gang we told you about. They don't actually exist. What gang? What are you talking? About? We don't exist. I what didn't you, know what to talk about. Press I just want to get this hand dick hand. out of my face. Exactly. <laughs> Tell your boys that. Tell them to call off the search. We'll put you right back where we left you. No problems. You live. What do I tell them about uh, Ray Ray? Tell him that the eat drive by What's shooting, the... you survived. Yeah, drive by shooting by the what? What's the name of the gang? Fuck. No, no, no. That that gang. Does, we're, we're we're trying to get him get him to disbelieve that 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 gang exists. We want him to why think it's like well, okay. Should I use my can I use my street deal or street bar, like to to figure you out what use gang? Whatever you like. Yeah. What gang they are actually fucking like fighting it against? Uh, you mean in the region? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll make this a twenty. <laughs> But I can never hit that. My street deal is six. Okay, oh. well let's make it a fifteen then. Okay. <laughs> so you have a very fuck. Okay, you're pretty close. Yeah, I mean, uh, the East fifty third fourthers sound pretty good. That's the, the East third fifty fourthers. Sounds like a gang name. All right. That you could use if you wanted Just to. Tell those the East third fifty fourthers. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, you're gonna have to loosen a hand for me. I gotta make the call. All right, I, I let go of his throat. Okay, what about his hand? Well, I thought he already unlocked the phone. Yeah, but he did it from you were holding the the phone, and okay, he did okay. it while his hands. I, I I undo the so. the duct tape. Okay, on one of his hands. Great. All right, so he grabs the phone, punches in a number. As I, I, I well before oh, I'm sorry. I take, no, out, I take out my gun and I'm like mm -hmm. pointing it at him. <laughs> and but as it's ringing, he looks up and he goes, "That ain't no scarier than a mangled penis, bro." <laughs> <laughs> he sees I, I do one of these. I look at the camera and I go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's got the phone up and he's like, uh, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." It's uh, it's it's, it's Bob here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Listen, you need to Preston. Nice mouth. You need to, you need, yeah, man. You need to, you need to call off the raid of the sorties. Yeah, man. Nah, look, it was just, it was just some punk from the. Looks up at you again. East fifty third fourthers. The, the East fifty third fourthers. Yeah, I ain't never heard of him either, man. Must be a new <laughs> gang stepping. What about the picture? Oh, that screwball? Nah, man. Keep an eye out for him. He's just got a really clever jacket. It's about it, though. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Hangs up the phone. Tanisha said, what? <laughs> what do you think? Did, did you say he loves you? I was almost yeah. waiting for an... Okay, I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Dad.
You don't know if that was <laughs> not what he was responding right. to or not. <laughs> so, um, so I t okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Wait, before before you do that, uh, Sheldon, could you do me a favor and verify where the call went? I just want to make sure our friend here isn't just making a fake phone call to nowhere. Right, I'm on this. <laughs> All right, how do you do this? With your know, infinite uh, knowledge of electronics. <laughs> well, my infinite knowledge of what I to say, how it. do you know whose phone number I it was? Pushed, that he called? I pushed star six seven six nine, whatever it is. <laughs> so, so you want you want to recall the guy? Is that we? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, maybe not. I slapped the phone out of his hands. <laughs> no, ah! no. This shit's good enough, dude. All right, just trank dart him again. All right. Well, you can't. <laughs> give me, give me one of your trank darts out of your dick, and I'll fucking jam it in his neck for you. Does it work that way, or does it only work right, when he shoots hold, it out of hold, his dick? Hold on, hold on. I kind of <laughs> face away from everybody. You see me kind of like jingling around down there, like my pants belt buckle is just like. So we we can see basically the camera sort of like over uh, Preston's shoulder, and in the background we see BTE. Uh, the guy in the chair, Jacob, and Dresden and Weldon all sort of like lean to the side a little bit when he does that to see what he's actually trying to do. Well, they can't see any of it. So <laughs> they I'm can't like, see any of it. it. And I just I go, I just go, oh! this. I just go, oh! Shazam. Oh, God. Shazam. And then, hand, and then I hand him, I hand, like, I kind of just, like, like, this is his hand outstretched. I kind of just plop it in there, and it's got, like, all this oil and, like, different, like, gun lubricant. It's all over, and it's just like this gross dart. Right. The, as I long take as the dart with it. my cyber hand, because it's gross. <laughs> I, just, I look at the guy, I'm like, thanks for your cooperation. I jam it right in his throat. And he's like, oh, this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> and then he passes it out. All right. I, I, I un unstrap him from the, the, the chair, throw him back in the trunk, and fucking... I make sure to take all the duct tape off of him too, so he doesn't so he doesn't look like he's been kidnapped. Fucking close the trunk. Go over to uh, Jordan or like, hey man, seriously, thanks so much. I give him the rest of the, the little baggies, and uh, and then I'm like, hey, just, just so I know, can I have the tape? He's like he's sitting there and he's looking around at the mess on the ground. There's like fucking lubricant and like a little bit of blood. Well done. On the ground, and uh, he's huh? like, yeah, no man. Nah, sure. He walks over to a VHS tape. He pushes it out, and it's got like a uh, a tape. And then he gives it to, you. and then he walks over to a machine rack, which is full of like VHS tapes. He grabs one and he walks over to uh, Preston and he's like, "Hey, man. Uh, listen, you uh, you probably need this more than most people." And he like hands you a tape, and on it it says like, "Uh, uh." Vanessa Stardom Tape XX1 on it. <laughs> he gives it to you. What the fuck? I tug, I tug it into my jack and I go, appreciate it. And I just give him like the slyest wink. Mm -hmm. Thing. And I kind of like hide it away from everybody else. Like I don't want to share it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. You guys, I'm in a lamp post anyway. And I go, all right, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, sir, for your cooperation. CRS is greatly indebted to you. Uh, but it's about time we hit the road, shall we, gentlemen? We shall. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I look over at BTA and I kind of just go like this. Just because I'm a real fucking asshole, I just go... Just like this. I, like, I, I, I look at finger. Preston and I just go... What the fuck do you want, Preston? Get in the car, babe. God, you're such an asshole. Alright, and so we all, I guess, get in the car. I'm like super yeah. sarcastic, I look at BTA, I'm like, get in the car, babe. Come on, babe. And she's like, yeah, babe, why don't you get in the car with me, babe? <laughs> and I just look back and I go, what's that? Nothing, babe. Nothing, babe. All right, sounds good. And I start fucking around with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice bit. I like that. Yeah. All right, we, uh, we'll get back in the car. I'm driving. So I Take assume off. you go back. Where, uh, where do you, actually, tell me where you dropped this, this dude off. Maybe where do you put him? I go... I go several blocks deeper away from where we fucking murdered his friend and kidnapped him. Sure. Couple right left turns, you know, just like crisscrossing. Mm -hmm. And I just find it. I find a house and I just fucking open the trunk, pull him out, throw him down on the ground, and then leave. Just book it. Sure. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, 
Let's see. Is there a check that can be made for driving stealthily? Hmm. I'm trying to make this way harder than it needs to be, bro. Okay. I think it's I cool. Well, I've done, I done told you I drove there, okay? And I, dro I dropped off the No, body. no, no. This, this, is, <laughs> no, this is for going back to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's true. Where, really cool, yeah. man. You got to act cool. Where your thing is. Uh, interesting idea there, Black Man. Interesting. Act cool. There is a stealth check in here, which is reflex. So who's driving? You're driving? I'm driving. All right. So I need you to make me a reflex check. Um, uh, because basically you're driving past the place where you shot the guy's legs off right now. And there happens to be a bunch of gang members there <laughs> from the, uh, the sorties, uh, which is the gang of the guy that you killed and kidnapped. Right. So uh, the re what they're looking out for is they do have a picture of Eric. Um, right. So I tell, I tell, I tell Preston, get down, just lay down right. in Weldon's lap. So, yeah. give me, <laughs> give me a. Uh, I'm gonna give you a plus one on this because you're preparing ahead, okay. but I need you to uh, give me a stealth check with one d ten plus five. It's normally a plus four, but I'll give you an extra one. And you need to pass a ten here. All right. Got this. He's not sending. Send. Oh, thank God. All right, there nice. you go. Well, that's fine. You just, you just drive past. They don't pay attention to you. All right. We made so it. So I just, I check, I check where I am. I, I remember where, like, where he told me to go. And so I just head, I head to the, the address. Oh, of yeah. The pink slip. All right. Now I have to check my notes about this because I've actually forgotten whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. It's Real been bad. so long. It's been like uh, two weeks now. So, um. Okay, Dele. Yep. Okay, so you you arrive at um, the avenue, which is FX at forty eight FX Avenue. It's it's sort of like a, if you guys ever played um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah. You remember what the street was that CJ was from? Yes. Oh, Green Street. Yeah, it kind of looks a little like that. It's kind of got like a. A big sort of circle at the end of it, and a bunch of cul-de-sac houses, yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, you, you don't notice anything unordinary about the house, there, aside from the fact that uh, the mailbox appears to be sort of overstuffed with junk mail and flyers sort of thing, so... Like, and there's papers at the front of it that are sort of, like, rotting from overexposure to the weather and other stuff. And gross. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, what do you guys do? Um, it's, so it's, I'm gonna... It, it's, Go it's, a, it's also worth mentioning that all the houses along this cul sac they're the same. They're identical in every way. Uh, there's a, there's a few houses that have sort of got like a for sale sign at the front, um, with really, really low prices. Like, really low prices. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like be speaking to BT in the back. Basically, like I'm trying to get her to fix my dick in the car. So I'm gonna look at at, at Weldon and Dresden and be like, "Could you guys handle the the initial intro on this one? I gotta I gotta get this situation taken care of." BT, would you be a deer and come over here? And I start like kind of trailing off while talking to BT. Uh, so the thing about your penis repair, it needs to be repaired and not medically repaired. If that makes any sense. So you need to take it to someone who can. Yeah, you said BT can do that. She can help you with the Needs medical to take it to repair stuff. So you need. <laughs> yeah. so can I she... take my dick to Best Buy? Like the fuck. So, so basically, you can walk into a any cyber replacement house on like any street sort of thing that will have them. Uh, you can walk into any repair shop as well to do this. Uh, Weldon is the PC that will be able to repair it for you. Uh, BTE is medical. Medically trained, so she won't be able to repair cybernetic stuff for you. Uh. <laughs> so right. if you, this is this is intentionally planned, by the way, uh, so that you have to have this interaction <laughs> with Mike, man. If you want to repair your penis, Just get it over right. with uh, in the field. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be calling. Uh, um, I can call CRS to come. And, yes, you can call this. CRS to, to come repair your penis. Okay. If you I'm want gonna... that record at CRS. <laughs> well, CRS oh, will already have this care. record. They CRS would, will already yeah. have this record. 
So it doesn't even fucking matter because I got them to do it. I'm not touching his wingle tank. <laughs> so okay. I'm I'm gonna be calling CRS and BT is gonna be kind of helping me, and I'm gonna be asking uh, that Weldon and Dresden handle the initial go for this one. All right. So you're gonna be off to the side getting your. By that it means repaired. Dresden's yes. gonna do the talk. Um, I'm talking to these. Uh, these guys in the phone. BT will is like the, the character that you have in the party to do the surgery stuff. So it might be a good idea that she comes. Well, this is just this is just the initial. Like I'm having them just like do the initial knock at the door. They could always come back and get BTE. Okay, that works too. Yeah. Oh, well, I got. All right, well then. <laughs> yeah, get it. Let you handle this repair. one. Yeah. I just tortured a dude with a penis. So. Uh... Okay. Who me? Um, yeah, you're really like, good I'm, like I'm like I'm the most social person. You're a real right. good people person, man. I mean, oh. I, I like you, dude. You're, you're fucking cool. I feel like I feel like well, I feel like people. My butt. No, I feel like I feel like people can you know be comfortable around you, especially new people. So, but knock on the door. Yeah, right. I knock on the yeah. All right. I knock hard on the door. There you go. He does it. He handled the <laughs> knock at least. At least that. No response. You know, like, is there a window on the doors? It's just one big fucking regular, like, wooden door. Uh, there is windows, yeah. Well, but... no one's home. Let's go back to the car. I, I snatch him as he tries to walk away. Like, God. Back of his... <laughs> sure. I, like, I, I go peering through the windows, seeing what's in there. Uh, from what you can tell, this is a standard procedure for what uh, people who deal with technology like to do. And Jacob did this as well. His windows are blackened. They've been painted from the inside out. Stop wow. people from looking in. Mm. I shout out to Preston, like, are we allowed to do forced entry on this stuff, or what? Do what you, do what you gotta do, babe. The company will Can back I, you is, up. Does my eyes have anything in them to see through this shit? Don't have uh, image. What did you pick? What did you pick? Uh, uh, I forget. I got a bunch right of on. imaging stuff in my eye. I know you did. Let me just double check what you got. Yeah. So you have tele-optics, a digital camera, and micro-optics, so no. Shit, I should have gotten that thermal. I should have gotten that thermal, bro. You can still can, you have another option that you can Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap my cyber hand around the, uh, the door handle. Mm-hmm. And I've got, like, really good crushing strength. Do I have to roll for that so I can, like, grip it super hard? Do you wanna? Do you wanna break the door handle? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm trying to grip it so really hard and then yank the door open, despite the lock. Okay. Well, you probably if you do that, you're probably more likely to break the door handle than you are to break the door off its okay. hinges because it it definitely you know you can see this it opens inwards. Oh, okay. So, I guess I'll go for a fucking shoulder check into the into the, the door right. there. If you wanna do that, you can do that. <coughs> What's that roll? Uh, let's see here. That roll is for a shoulder check. Uh, strength feet. So, uh, it's just body. Um, so whatever your body is, I think it's seven. Eight. Eight. So one D ten plus eight, and you need a fifteen to pass. Boom. Wow. Okay. Nice. Crit. Very um, nice. Okay. So, <sighs> and. <sighs> Sorry to say this, but uh, when you when you shoulder check the door and it opens up, it opens up on its hinges, but it also trips something oh, when fuck. you Ooh. when you push it in. Um, so I need you to let's see, what have I gotten written here? Roll a reflex. Do you have reflex as a skill? Have you put any points into it? Uh, sorry, not reflex. What is it? Dodge. No, dodge, dodge. is melee only. Uh... Hmm. Let's see. What's it would be under body if there was anything here. So let's take it. Okay. Endurance, strength feat, or swimming? I don't think it's going to be swimming. Uh, I'd I'd probably say it's more athletics, if anything. Um. But you don't. You haven't put any. Wait. Let's see. Where's your picture? So you've put points into brawling. So you, I'm not. I'm saying you. You can't because you don't have any points into it. Um. And that goes for dodge and escape as well. I would have, if you had a a point in that, I would have let you use it, but you don't. Okay. Um. So the shotgun. Fuck. 
no. uh, will shoot you. Um, Fuck. Oh. And if you, like, it's a good idea in most cases, especially if you notice that, the, I'm just going to say this now because, you know, it's this is more of a learning experience more than anything. And this is why I've sort of put this in the, in this game right now so you guys can sort of understand of the sort of procedure. I should have checked for booby traps, yes. Yeah, so any sort of like perception or anything, like if, if it appears suspicious, it's probably suspicious. So it's a good chance for you guys to sort of... I didn't know that was in this game. I, I do that all the time in Pathfinder. I didn't know you could okay. actually see if there was some fucking trip. Like, it's, it's just a door to me, right? Yeah, if yeah assume, but... Like, the, the, yeah. the mechanics are on the inside. Yeah, but you can still check these sorts of things pretty easily. Oh, okay. And you could also, if you wanted to, like, navigate around the house and find other entrances and that sort of stuff, too. Um, all right, all so... Right, so the shotgun shoots me. Yes. All right, it'll in go the off in the no, no, no. It'll it it is it's always going to go off in the chest region because it's chest high. Oh, I got a um, skin weed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So all that nonsense. So if you rolled a uh, DC 10 awareness slash notice check on the door, you can see if it was trapped okay. uh, pretty easily. But you guys didn't. Duly noted. So. Duly noted. Yep. Cool. Um. So it goes off and they can make a DC 20 reflex dodge 1d10 check to see whether they take. Okay, so uh, your dodge is four, so you can't even make that. Um, so so you pretty much just like flop over and it shoots you in the chest. <laughs> so you knock in the door and uh, it basically goes off. Um, and basically, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make you take damage this time because I wanted this to be more of a learning experience for everyone. Um, so you basically get knocked on your ass. Oh. And fuck! <laughs> what? I'm eating nuts. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, so what are you wearing, torso? What do you got on your torso? What are you wearing? I have a Kevlar shirt, I believe. Okay, um, just, I've, got just, a, just, I've got a jacket, armor jacket, and then I have a skin weave. And his shirt just says, like, naughty I have 38 boy on it. Torso <laughs> armor. All right, so I need you to mark down uh, one point from your torso armor. So you're now at 37 instead of 38. Because it goes. Actually, mark it down two points because it goes through your jacket and your Kevlar before it bounces off your skin weave. Right, um, can, so, so I just so I. I don't want to fuck with the uh, the Excel sheet here. Can I put 36 slash 38? So that's like, will it fuck with any of the math or anything like that? It's here to look like here, that. You you do it. You do it because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck shit, shit up. Yeah. Oh, actually, we'll do it the other way because that's what the other sheet said. 38. Okay. There you go. It's there. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah. So basically, the way it works in this game is if you get shot and it goes through your armor, your armor will be damaged. Um, but your body and your skin weave cannot be damaged because it's cyberware sort of thing. So you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that goes off. And you get knocked on your ass. And <coughs> take it away. Fuck! God damn it! Weldon, why didn't you fucking warn me? Ah, uh, I was too worried about introducing us to people. Social situations make me nervous. Have, you're gonna have to fucking get over that, man, because I just got shot in the chest because of you. Kind of. <laughs> Still seems slightly less painful than social situations, but we'll... I swear to God. I like to get myself back up. <clears throat> Ugh. Are you done getting your dick repaired? Can we do this? Uh, no, they haven't even arrived yet. <laughs> yeah, like, and I'm still all the way in the car. You guys are in the Oh, house I thought he was, like, point. standing over there just, like, having BTE check out his dick. No, no, we're, like, still in the car, and I'm, oh. like, waiting for CRS to, to come and fix my dick. Well, say that. All right. I said that. I walk, I walk up to the door, <laughs> and I, like, peer in, and I do a perception check. <laughs> there we go. All right, so uh, <laughs> this is now going to be like every room he's going to do. Yeah, no, no this, this, yeah. this series just took a fucking nosedive. This is not going to be fun for anyone. Uh, one to ten plus fourteen. And if do you, a perception check on the dice 14. roll too, just in case that's booby trap. Yeah. yeah, you have awareness notice. That's... Oh, he, yeah, he is dead. All right, so um, you can't see anything, uh, you know, obvious 
from the get-go. Um, uh, so, aside from the shotgun, which was a single shot by the looks of things, and it was connected to, like, you know, archaic system of traps. So, it was basically like a string trap uh, that was connected to the trigger. You know, obviously, it would take a manual reload in order to get it to shoot again. Um, but further inside, you can't really see anything outwardly that is uh, really bad, aside from a horrendous stench. Like, just the worst smelling thing you could ever possibly imagine. Ooh. Yeah. I, like, pull my shirt up over my face. Mm-hmm. Start, like, walking, walking into the house. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, as you go inside, I mean, it's through the hallway sort of thing. You can see also that a lot of mail has sort of been pushed under the door as well. Um, but again, just sort of, as paper does, just sort of fading away, you know, just being gross. Uh, the further you walk in... Just being gross. Just being <laughs> gross, yeah. Hey, I'm over here just being gross. <laughs> you notice that the, the house is surprisingly empty. Um, there's not a lot of furniture in here, and if there is furniture, it's sort of covered up with, like, uh, white blankets. Similar to what you would do in modern day if you were like, you know, bugging a house or something like that for like pests, like bombing a house with pesticides. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you, you notice that, uh, you know, a lot of the doors are in disrepair as well. Um, there seems to be some sort of weird construction stuff lying around, like bricks and mortar as well. You're not sure why. Um, it doesn't make any sense. There's also a bunch of wallpaper, like un. un stuck wallpaper rolled up uh, that mm. does match the wallpaper of the walls you've noticed um like they were doing some sort of repairs in here or whatever and uh you search the house you um it seems a little smaller on the inside than it did on the outside um but from what you can tell this place has been well lived in and it definitely smells like something has almost died in here to be honest with you Okay. I think someone's. I think they're dead, dude. It smells like my normal apartment. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like how you guys are whispering to each other. I know, right? I don't know what's waiting in here. I got shot by a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I make my way further into that home uh, against my better judgment. So for the most part, you've pretty much explored all of the house that you can see pretty easily. There's a, you know, a bathroom, a, ba a bedroom, a lounge room with this sort of kitchen attachment, and that's pretty much it. So I haven't found any, any, any bodies? No bodies. Okay. It smells like there should be a body, but there's yeah. no bodies. I'm going to start checking, like, uh, closets and, 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 and cupboards and nooks and crannies uh, and stuff like give that. Give me another perception check, and this All one's right. 20. Also, I'm going to start looking around for electronic equipment. Mm-hmm. With perception checks. Yeah. All right. Is that your, your okay? Now, uh, uh, Preston, uh, not Preston, mm. um, Weldon, give me Weldy a, Weldy uh, Weld. Weldy mm. Weld. Give me a perception check. And I'll give you a plus five on this. Uh, where is it? Was it 1d10 plus? God damn it. This. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, your perception, um, plus five awareness more. notice. So okay. you got a 12. So 1d12, uh, 1d10 plus 12 plus five. So 1d17. 1d10 okay. plus 17. Math. All right, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So you do find, surprisingly, and th this is sort of weird to you, Weldon, uh, for the mm -hmm. most part, you find mm -hmm. that there are a bunch of cables still plugged into outlets. And if you do attempt to turn on a light switch or whatever, you still see that there's a lot, that there's power coming to the domicile. Uh -huh. um, but... You know, if you uh, if you follow the cables, they basically lead to a wall, and they disappear behind the wall. Mm. Now, with your perception check, um, very interesting, Dresden. Uh, you notice that in the bedroom um, where the cables 
originated from and then moved outwards into the wall. Uh, there is a, a bed, which for the most part looks left in, but you know the sheets. Yeah, I mean, if it if it hadn't been sitting here for a long time by itself, the sheets would you know almost be like how you sort of you look into like maybe you might see a um, a hotel after someone spent a single night in there, sort of thing. Kind of looks like that. Like they just got out of bed, flick the the bed sheets back, and then they sort of walked away. They didn't make the bed, but the bed sheets don't look dirty per se. They just look like they've been sitting there unused for a very long time. Okay. Uh, there is a cupboard in there, and further inspection in the cupboard uh, does me uh, does reveal that uh, there is a there is a bunch of cables going behind the cupboard as well. And if you move the cupboard, um, you notice that the back of the cupboard has like a back. Uh, like a, a fake entrance sort of thing to another room. Well I See check that door. It's not a very good oh. fake room I of wires. I use my awareness notice it. to check for another fucking shotgun trap. <laughs> uh, sure. Is my, yeah, wait, I have electronic... Uh, I could probably tell what these wires are for, Shit. I'm going to think. Shit. Yeah, go for it, man. Please do. Please Give me do. electronics. Yeah. yeah, electronic security. I had a maybe? shit roll, dude. Please go electronics. for it. Uh, okay, electronics. Straight, straight up electronics. It's about the same. Straight up also. electronics. All right. So what's that? So plus 1d10 16? plus 16. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Nice. Not too Very bad. Nice. Yep. Uh, from what you can tell, they appear to be power and uh, internet. But anyone could tell that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I should be able to be like, these are powering, like, in, you know, two lights, one of Mac laptop, specifically a Model 27, and two dildos. <laughs> and two dildos. They need to be, However, they need to be variable powered. power with uh, three um, settings for speed and uh, rumble. However, and they rumble? were... <laughs> was it an N64 controller? Yes, that's right. That was fashioned from one. Well, I can the tell by the, the wire and the way it pulsates that... and shit. They were built into the same cable. Ah. If that makes any sense. So he's basically taken like a power outlet, and what you see it's like it's like a, a basically just sort of like a hole in the wall, sort of like uh, mm -hmm. pe uh, covered up. And there's a thick sort of white cable running along the floor of the room. And it would have been, you know, no one would have noticed it if they weren't specifically looking for it, like you were. And if you take out a knife and you slit the cable down the middle, you can tell it's basically just like a bundle of other cables sort of wrapped up and then, you know, put in some insulation to, like, hide along the floor. And that's mm -hmm. what your perception of the check revealed. So okay. it was obvious that the guy was trying to take, res take more power from different outlets mm -hmm. and then run it into a different room. These focusing powers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it, Preston, your uh, check reveal. No, sorry, Weldon. No, sorry, Dresden. Get it together, Fucking Christ, dude! You uh, guys are my children, yeah. and I'm angry at every single one of you. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> Dresden, uh, you, you, your check doesn't reveal any additional traps. You take, you know, ten, fifteen minutes being doubly sure because you're paranoid now, <laughs> mm -hmm. and um, yeah. No, no, no loot. Like, you sort of, like, push on the door. It doesn't sort of, like, tick or it doesn't, like, you know, force itself back on you in any way. Right. Uh, and then you slide it open and it doesn't appear to be sort of, like, stuck behind anything. And you slowly slide it open. And then that smell you smelled before, uh, even yeah. worse. A uh, lot worse now. Mm. Uh, to the point where I'm going to have to ask you guys to make some... Uh, there's no constitution checks in this game, but I'm going to look for something. It smells like a, a cool Korean check. land center it's full of babies. It's going to be a cool check, yeah. but cool. Yeah. I'm going to say... Maybe a body. Yeah, it's probably body. Um, give me a endurance check, uh, which is for both of you, since you probably didn't put points into it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I... No, okay, it's just your body roll. Great. So for you, Nick, that's eight. And for you, Bike, that is a Fuck seven. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 1d10 plus seven? Right. Yeah, 1d10 plus seven. I no. A bit. Oh, a right. botch! Oh, so, oh. That's, that's like the first botch of the game, I feel like. On like a, yeah. real, a real Let roll. Let me just double check what happens here. When you <laughs> mm, mm. Please tell me it comes out of his nose. 
Please don't. Oh. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, since this was for nothing really lethal. I ate like, alphabets, and when they come out, it spells blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a fucking. <laughs> it's something from one of the. Uh, what's his name? A ghost yeah. movie. The guy that made The Hobbit, his old movies, when he used to make good movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, Peter Jackson. Yeah, yeah, one of his old, like, fucking... When he did, like, Dead Alive, or what was it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it Brain Dead was the old title? Brain Dead, yeah. Bad Taste. Meet the Feebles. Meet the Feebles. Uh, meet the Feebles. Holy shit, that movie, that movie was fucked up. Fucked up. Mm-hmm. The fly eating shit in the toilet. Uh, thanks, Fascist, for subscribing for 15 months, sir. Oh, damn. You're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate it, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, so you're buying purple. Lunch. All right. Uh, let's see. Roll that check again, real quick, for me. All right. Whoa. It's 16. Okay, you did a lot better this time. So mm. you vomit, but you just vomit normally. Okay. Ah. Well, thank God it's normal generic. Damn it. I punch vomit. him in the gut. I punch him right in the kidney. No way. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. He wants bloody chunks. <laughs> All right, so so. Uh, whatever you ate God for lunch. Damn it. You notice it I'm again. I'm vomiting the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That's your vomit sound? Is that what people sound like <laughs> in Australia when they vomit? Yeah, I vomit like a man. <laughs> they go, that's <laughs> 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 the bar. Yeah, right? They don't call it vomit. They call it Melinda Gouda Gouda Glee. <laughs> <laughs> they call it. They call it. That's what they actually, call it in the bush. Actually, they call it chundering, but that's all right. Chundering. Oh, See, chunder. No, that's like a, that's, waltzes. Isn't that from like, like, that's a, like something like, a whale does? Yeah, no, it's like a <laughs> pirate term, isn't it? I don't know. I could have sworn. Know. I could have sworn. Like, like, like chumming for sharks. I don't know. It's like, oh, I, yeah. okay. Maybe I'm thinking of that. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. Off topic. All right. So, <laughs> all right. I, 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 I giggle a little bit at Weldon puking. And I'm like, all right. So, Dad. I guess you're fine to push in. <laughs> but he giggles like. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's Ren and Stimpy shit. Yeah. <laughs> We've and, lost yeah. all semblance of actual like role playing in this game. I know. Right? <laughs> it's just well, I think that kind of happened when you put a mega penis on a kidnapped. I thought that was a legitimate torture we, tactic. Okay. It, is, it, really it was a gun. Is. It, it was we also a gun. It's also a we, gun. We role played uh, the shit out of that. To be yeah. fair. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you push into the room, and you. Out instantly out of your element, like 100% out of your element. There are just electronics everywhere. There are screens, dawning amounts of our element. Absolutely fucking everywhere. Cables, fucking just like. Have you ever seen like the back of a computer for someone who doesn't care about cabling? Yeah. Kind of like that, except Mine. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, just like cables, just everywhere. You don't know what's what. You're afraid to touch anything now. I mean, it. There's just a thick layer of fucking just dust everywhere and on a bed you can see a young woman um probably around mid late 20s so like we're talking like 26 27 ish roughly uh long brunette hair and uh, she's got like a like an eye thing on and it's like beeping blue and she's laying like deadly still but you can see that she's still breathing, obviously. Oh, God. She's been jacked in. Um, unhealthy yes. amounts of time. A Korean amount. Fantastic <laughs> observation. Um, Damn, dude. She has what? Been, uh, jacked into... the Koreans today? They die in their land centers, man. They do. It's, it happens a lot. <laughs> it happens a lot. Um, it's, it's pretty sad. There's a lot it of is. Like a, babies It's like a matter-of-fact Dave is right now. Like, yeah, no, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. No, it's It so is. Bad. Look at the internet. This, this is sort of the basis for this character. So good job, Mike. You picked it <laughs> Thank pretty you. good. Thank um, you. So she's basically lying there, and she's sort of... She, much like uh, earlier today when you went and saw um, the other gentleman, uh, Malnarsh, but not from drugs, but from just literally not eating. Uh, she's probably pooped in her bed quite a bit. Um, that's probably where the smell is. It's like that part in seven with the junkie. Oh, yeah. God. Uh. Um, yeah, so it appears she's been there for a very, very, very long time. Uh, what do you do? Uh, shit. <laughs> What's you immediately what, 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 admire the electronics. Yeah, yeah, you know. He's... With a perception check. 
<laughs> All right, so like, actually, that's a great idea. I mean, eventually you do come into the room. I mean, what do you do after Completely seeing don't even care about the body. I'm like, look at this setup. Why don't you give me a electronics check here, and if you pass a 20, I'll tell you what's in the room. All right, let's see. Uh, what was the electronics? 1d10 plus 16? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Blake. Come on, Blake. Sorry. Eight oh, eight. fuck. God damn it. So, at a very close glance, you do notice that these are high-end electronics, but it's completely obvious to you that these are designed for, you know, interfacing with the Matrix. And that's mm -hmm. something that you have sort of stayed away from because uh, you do know of its addictive, uh, you know, personalities being that your history with it. Um, I mm -hmm. believe that's in your history. I could be thinking of someone else, though. I don't think so. That's me. I was never That's, addicted to that. That was you? I was addicted to, to jacking it in. Yeah. Okay. Addicted to jacking it. So, so maybe maybe you can sort of identify a little bit uh yeah, there you go. with with this lady. Um but for you, uh Weldon, you definitely notice that this is very expensive gear. Okay. Um back. so yeah. What do you guys do now? Um I just kinda like in awe of the setup. Just mm. like, like an ex-addict just looking around like <laughs> I could very easily unplug her, kill her, and plug myself in right now. Yeah. But you're thinking. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking about that hard, but I go over what's what's the organ we're trying to extract here or we need to extract. Uh so the pink slip information, <coughs> uh you're trying to get the immune immune super, which is a spleen, and uh, uh a food store silver, which is a stomach. Okay. And we know from the last gig that there's a possibility that no matter how damaged the body is, the organs that are being uh, repoed could potentially still be worthwhile and usable. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. The, the difference being is that, like, a healthy body will survive quite a, a much longer time after the removal of said organs. Okay. The spleen and the stomach, you could potentially live longer than a heart because a heart is very important to, you know... <coughs> well, no, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the res the reversal. This girl's fucking dead, right? She's no, no, no. She's she's still breathing. Oh, she's alive. Yeah, she's still breathing. Yeah, she's yeah. Like I said, it's like the part seven, seven man. Oh, okay. Fuck. Sorry, I missed that part. Oh, okay. But yes, uh, in the case of them being dead, you still can retrieve the organ. It's not like they need to be uh, you know activated gotcha. and awake all the time. It uh, for the most part, of, from what you've learned, it does the organs. Uh, live off like the bioelectrical energy that the bodies produce um and that's how they sort of maintain themselves but you know they do require maintenance every six months or so all right i looked at to, to weld it i'm like all right judging from the state of things man if we if we unjack her there's a good chance she's not going to be able to fucking speak or even understand the shit we're saying to her because she's been in it way too long we might have to figure out a way to talk to her in there. Is Ooh. there a way we can... Yeah, could you rig this mm. to communicate with us out here? I could try. Something. Okay. Fucking uh, try jury that. rig? Uh, an, an, yeah. an, an electronics chick? Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm 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 fucking down for this. So what are you, trying, <laughs> what, what are you guys trying to get out of this? You, you want her to... We... Uh, be aware I'm, of the I'm, outside I'm not cool with I'm not cool with fucking I, I thought she was dead at first I'm not cool with mm -hmm. just going ahead and repoing without actually talking to her but I know I know I know from experience that like being jacked in for as long as she has getting yanked out of that like yeah, it takes a while to recover and it's, like it's, come back best, to real life yeah. you know like, the best way to describe it is you know how there's deep sea divers and they sort of need to reacclimate to a different sort of like yeah, pressure the, level yeah the, the uh not the spin, compression it's chamber. The, it's the, yeah. what is it? The fucking, the bends. bends. Like, it's like yeah, the bends, bends. Yeah. yeah. So that's a very good and apt description of what's happening when someone goes into the net for a long time. Uh, a lot of people, especially like hackers uh, and, and deckers, as they're called in this world, they have, they're very acclimated to these sorts of interfaces, and a lot of them prefer it to real life. Having said that, though, spending too long in there, it's kind of like you kind of get addicted to it, man. It's yeah. kind of like Maybe it's everything you want your actual life to be, except 
your actual life isn't that. Maybe you and guys a lot of do cases. like uh, the cell with Jennifer Lopez and like get in there with her. That's what I'm. I'm suggest. Well, I'm. I can't go back in because I was addicted <laughs> once. I can't go back in. And even if we did go back in, trying to find her would be difficult. So what I'm trying to get the Weldon to do is uh, is well, find if a, you find a way for her to same... communicate to us out here. So you know, and I'm going to tell you this up front. You know that uh, if you jacked in at the same source IP level and whatnot, which you will be doing if you jacked in in this room, you would very easily be able to find it because you would essentially be oh, on okay. the same right, network, that. Okay. if that makes any sense. But uh, if you were to do it from another location, it would be pretty hard to find unless you knew their screen name, which you don't. Right. Operator? Operator, I mean, give me I can't, I can't, I look at Weldon like, I can't jack in, but you can. I would think to, that this would you be... You have to talk to her. You have to actually... So, if you... The, the other thing you mentioned was talking to her from here. Is that what you said? Yeah, like a Skype call. <laughs> interesting. A Skype call the Matrix. A lot less, a a lot less interesting the than the other way around. Like, <laughs> to scry <yeah. laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, I, we mentioned on the very first episode of Cyberpunks that the rules for neck, net decking or decking are so vastly complicated and unnecessary that I've looked into alternatives for it. And the way that I'm going to do it is just by whatever makes sense. Um, logic, basically. Logic, basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna Which goes against the... every fucking role-playing game in existence. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm going to... Because basically, the way that it works is that a second in the, in the net is like a lifetime outside, right? So if we were to do the exact rules that they say in the book, it would be whoever's doing the netting stuff, basically the entire episode to be dedicated to having them do what they need to do. And then they come out and then you guys are literally like four seconds later. That's basically how it works. And it's fucking dumb. Wait, no, no, no. Four seconds in real time? I, it feels like it should be the reverse. Like if you're, de if you're jacked in, time moves faster. Or slower. Yeah, so, and so, so four when, time, get, when you so come back, like, hey, guys, how was your day? Like, what do you mean? It's been fucking five minutes, dude. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's exactly Interstellar that So, out, outside, <laughs> in real life, it, time goes normally, and inside, you can spend an entire day inside of it, and it'll only be, like, an hour at most on the outside. Okay, so, that, makes, okay that makes more sense. I was about to say, yeah, yeah that's, that, that would be weird the other way around. So, um, it's... Hmm. Yeah, it's it's really silly. So I'm just gonna go with logic here. So you guys tell me what you want to do right now, and I'm gonna allow you, Bike Man, to sort of rig something together so that you can interface with the IP that's currently going into the Matrix right now mm -hmm. because you're at the physical location. So it's gonna mm -hmm. be easy for you to do this if you wanted to. All right. You just gotta tell me what exactly you want to do with your character, with with what you're trying to do. Um. So, monitors in the room. Yeah, hyperbolic time chamber. That's exactly what it's like. Uh, monitors, monitors, oh, monitors yeah, around. Just put it in fucking Dragon Ball Z terms, then we would have all understood. <laughs> everyone, everyone knows Dragon Ball Z terms. So yes, there are plenty of monitors in the room. Oh god, uh, how we go about uh, uh, tapping into her feed to get a third person sure. camera? Yeah, you all right. Do that. Um, so you're going to basically take over one of the monitors, mm -hmm. and then you're going to create a some sort of jack. Into the or some sort of export of the feed that she's currently mm -hmm. seeing into a monitor. Right after so. I put breasts on it. <laughs> <laughs> she's All already right. got breasts, dude. Oh, Goddamn. God. Okay, well, so there are right. literally breasts in the room. So you I know. All right, not, right, 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 right. Well, uh, they're we'll not the formality this time. God, I can't imagine how, what his reaction will be if we ever have to repo like fake breasts. <laughs> I, I imagine his brain just shuts down. And he, like he can't handle it. I'm gonna write that down. Sunshine, lollipops, <laughs> and rainbows. <laughs> this is the Slow best motion. ever. So Slow motion this, running through a thing. field of sunshine. He, just does are... thing. he does the thing where he like throws his hands in the air and just like foams out of his mouth and passes yeah, that's out. Right. <laughs> this is why you need to come to events, Spike Man, because we do karaoke and you have a great singing voice. I need, to, I need to afford them. That's the problem. Anyway. Oh. So there are, How, what there am I are... doing? Donate to Bike Man now. You heard it right now. Everybody get Bike Man at TwitchCon. We're doing it. Yeah. That was it not exciting just, enough. That was not exciting at all, Nate. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for I, taking the fucking. I, I hardly endorse this product and or feature. Anyway, well. Extra <laughs> black. Yeah. So, all right. Mr. You need black. to roll me. You have a, a skill that's specific to your. It's jury rigged. That's my, my skill for my 
particular bullshit. So I need you to roll that, um, and I need you to tell me how you're interfacing with the helmet that she. All right, jewelry rig is plus seven. Yep. So one to e ten plus seven. You're onto it. There you go. All right, and uh, how am I interfacing? Yeah. All right. So uh, can I? Is there like a splitter or something I can? So the problem with this, right? Yeah. Um, if you were to disconnect her feed in any way, I'm not disconnecting. I'm tapping in. Well, that's the thing. If you want to split the existing connection, you're going to have mm. to cut the cables and then create a splitter out of it. So okay. I'm asking you how you get around this fact without uh, bringing her out of the matrix. Okay. Um, hmm. Um, and with your jury rig skill, this it's not like you have to shut down a product in order to yeah. like alter it. But if you were to cut a cable to alter it, it would yeah. cut feed. So yep, yep, yep. I needed to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I I don't know, man. I'm at a loss right here. There's a grocery list amount of for not knowing what to do. Indecision. Okay, so you're trying to basically cut into the helmet and add an additional mm. e e feed output device. Yeah, right? but I know. Like it's got to have an HDMI out, right? <laughs> yeah. So there why you don't you take one of the existing monitors that is... Oh no, it's a help gauge. We're fucked. Right, anyway. <laughs> so why don't you take one of the existing monitors um, that you see to be used as something silly. You can take that apart and you can take out the, the device that um, plugs into HDMI and then you can sort of retrofit that to allow you to plug that into the helmet itself so that the feed that's coming it out of it sounds jury really riggish. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole so point. Like I go you ahead. Take, and, you want me to you're roll gonna ruin it? a monitor to basically. Get yeah, well, it's not mine. Uh, yeah. Science, <laughs> let's do it. It's not mine. I'm giving a fuck. I was say this oh, is. Oh god a... damn it! How do I get oh. a nine if I roll the one d ten? Well, it's plus how seven. does that happen? Black man's that's... like getting my rolls today. The fuck? So, um, you ruined. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to let you do this multiple times because there's multiple monitors in here. Okay. I ruined um, one. You ruined a monitor. So I'm going to let you do this three times. And the, the DC to pass this is a 15, which is fairly reasonable. So. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy. All right. How do you get a 9 if you roll a 1d10, though? I'm still confused about that. Anyway. <laughs> it's a d10. So it's a oh, that's right. That's right. The d10 10. rolled the 2. Yeah. Okay, there we I go. Did it. Just barely. Atta girl. Atta girl. Atta girl. Fucking yeah. god. So damn. you open up the monitor and you're like, I've never seen this Japanese shit before or something like that. And you try and do it, and then you after you ruin the first one, you're like, Ah oh, I get, it. I I get, get it. it now. And then you take the next one and you do it successfully. So basically, and then I make I make my Sistine Chapel. I got now I didn't I didn't oh, think this far ahead. Is to make That's sure. in my head while I'm like doing electronics work. <laughs> so, I got, this is a question. <laughs> and there's numbers from Beautiful Mind like floating around my head. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you, you, what, you just whip out an iPod and you start playing like your your tinkering music so that you can get yeah. it or something? No, like. I'm not playing it, man. It's in, it's it's in me. It's in his head. In his head, all right. The music's in my soul. <laughs> like it's all like it's like really like if like it, it was a movie then like yeah, the audience would hear it and it would be like incredibly but then it would zoom out to to uh dresden and it would just me be me going ah, la, 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 <laughs> you know, incredibly I'm like standing what? there just like ah. arms folded just it's like homer simpson like in his fantasy <laughs> i'm not surprised <laughs> like i know what it's like yeah I so love life um, Dresden, tell me a bit about um, what it was like for you being addicted to the Matrix. Because uh, you were specifically special. addicted to pornography, right? <laughs> is that, wait, is that actually true? That's what you said on your backstory, yeah. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That was part of it, yeah. I mean, I grew up in an orphanage. You know, I lived on the streets after that, foster homes, all that shit. So my life was pretty goddamn ho-hum to terrible mm. and uh once i finally got the means to actually jack in and fucking experience this other world uh you know like i always had problems with women just because I, I wasn't the, the prettiest guy on the block but mm. in there i totally was i could be i i could shape my avatar to whatever i wanted it to be and uh it uh it got i don't know i was i've always been like a hopeless romantic you know and uh that 
that's where it fucking lived for me. That's where that's where that came true. Whatever I wanted so, totally came true. So were you like uh interfacing with other people to get your pornography experience or were you interfacing with uh, websites that offer that via AI? Like what were you doing? Um, it was like, I imagine it's I like tr- gamer. It's like movie <laughs> gamer. I You're tried like I mean I tried thing. the AI thing but it felt, you know, it was fake. Like they 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 they, they could program them to be like people but they mm. weren't fucking other people, you know? Mm. And so I went the route of interfacing with other people. And, of course, there was always the risk of it being a 40-year-old dude somewhere in fucking New York. <laughs> but I would never know that. Like, I would never fucking know that. Uh, there, were, there were a couple times I had suspicions of a couple people, a couple, a couple girls that did a few things that were a little untowards, you know? Mm. But, uh, yeah, that was my main, my main fix was just... Uh, Anonymous sex with uh, anonymous cyber sex with, with 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 women that were actually real fucking people somewhere in the world. Right, and, and uh, that's how I met Jamantha, and then she had such I'm a sorry. true true God. connection. And we like she was one of the few girls I saw more than like a couple times. You know? like, I met I met up with and chatted with a couple times, mm. and then that's how we that's how our, our relationship and we finally met. Found out we lived in the same town and everything, and so we met up, and that's how we like got started. Uh, and uh, Weldon, I mean, what's your experience with with entering the Matrix? Like Never done it. The I'm high on it. life. Is there any is there any particular reason why you've avoided going into the Matrix? Uh, uh, I like to have control at all times. I assume that uh, someone who sort of interfaces with electronics. I mean, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you you of all people would be able to sort of shape that Matrix existence a lot easier than most. I mean. Aside from, you know, be not being in control at the highest of levels, is there anything else that would, that have stopped you from going in at the moment? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but parents were addicted to it. Your parents were addicted to it? Yep. And you saw the downfall of what happened? Oh, there? yeah. Interesting. And how long were they addicted to it? Was, was it like... I assume that you were born, raised a little bit, and then they then the easier access to the Matrix came out, and that's when they started getting addicted, or was mm-hmm, it long mm-hmm. after that? Okay, interesting. Was it both your parents or just one of them? Both of them. Both of them? Interesting. Did they try and bring you into the fold as well? Well, once they were in, they were in. I was raised by a series of cats. <laughs> <laughs> A series of cats. A series of cats. <laughs> like one would die from neglect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's just like a series of cats. It was almost like a sacred order of felines that Let's passed go. me along from generation to generation. <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> a series of unfortunate feline events. Oh, God. Interesting. Interesting. Oh no! Uh, I'm just trying to work out what the motivations behind the characters' feelings on the Matrix because it's something we haven't really addressed right now. No, I like the, yeah. I like this. Every anytime you get the intuition to ask us our personal like opinions on what's going on, like our characters, yeah. that's that's cool. I like that. That's fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like a documentary. It's like it's like. So what do you think about it? You know, like a talking head cool. segment, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah, also, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's a good place to stop for another break. I yeah. yeah. All right. Another I'm done. Another hour. hour.